Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading a level two reader, The Magic School Bus Rides Again. I used to read The Magic School Bus when I was your age, but this is the new series, The Rides Again series. So today we're going to be reading a book about blowing in the wind. And you'll notice that they say now this is a Netflix original series. So after we read, if you have Netflix, you can go ahead and check it out. In a series book, there's always going to be characters that repeat, like Arnold, Keisha, Dorothy Ann, or D.A., Ralphie, Wanda, Jyoti, Carlos, and Tim. Meet Miss Frizzle. There's no other science teacher quite like her. She goes, she takes her class on wild field trips. They go on her magic school bus. It twirls and whirls and can go anywhere. Where will the bus take them today? Miss Frizzle's class is putting on a play called The Three Little Pigs. Keisha is in charge of the play. Everyone works together to build the set. Now, you notice how set is bold? It's one of those words that um, are important words. In this, you'll find that there are all different kinds of vocabulary words, and at the end, we're going to go over the vocabulary. Keisha wants to everything to be perfect and look as real as possible. The brick house needs to stand up to the huffing and puffing wolf who tries to blow it down, she tells the class. But how do we learn to build a super strong house? asks Ralphie. A field trip, Keisha shouts. I knew she'd say that, jokes Ralphie. To the magic school bus, cries Miss Frizzle. Bus, do your stuff. Miss Frizzle calls. The bus twirls and whirls. It lands on top of a mountain in a flash of magic. If we're building a house, we need bricks, says Keisha. So why are we on top of a mountaintop, says Jyoti. It's a surprise, says Miss Frizzle. Then Miss Frizzle presses a button and poof, the bus transforms into a brick-making machine. How did the bus do that? asked Jyoti. It's magic. Just go with it, says Miss Frizzle. If we use heavy bricks, nothing will be able to blow our house down, says Keisha. Heavy bricks sound like a great idea, says Carlos. Until you have to carry them, groans Wanda. Miss Frizzle's class starts stacking bricks. They line up one brick on top of another until they make a tall tower. This field trip is hard work, says Tim. The class finishes building the house. Woohoo! they shout. Now we need to test it, says Miss Frizzle. Why do we need to do that? Keisha asks. This building is super strong. According to my research... Engineers don't just hope that the buildings they make are strong. They test them to make sure, says D.A. So Miss Frizzle turns on the bus's powerful fan. <sighs> the strong wind from the fan nearly blows away the kids, and it also makes the house blow down. Oh no, it's raining bricks, says Wanda. That was amazing, says Miss Frizzle. What? It was a total disaster, says Arnold. I think Miss Frizzle means that we can learn from our mistakes, says Jyoti. Let's start over, shouts Keisha. We need to stick the bricks together. I have just the thing, says Miss Frizzle. The bus makes a sticky material like glue. Goop, the kids ask. It's magic mortar, she said. The kids lay down a brick and cover it with mortar. Remember, mortar is this stuff. It's kind of like cement. It kind of seals it in. And they stick another brick on top. They stack and stick the bricks until the house is finally built. The class is exhausted. I'm so tired my shoelaces hurt, jokes Ralphie. The second house needs to be tested. 
this time, Miss Frizzle, Frizzle gives the kids special glasses to see the wind and turns on the fan. Oh no, the new house blows down too. We have to try again. We need more than just bricks and mortar, says Keisha. But the class is too tired. They want the field trip to be over. Everyone gets on the bus to go home. The bus starts to lift off the ground. But you have to stay and help, Keisha yells. She tries to hit the stop button to make the class stay, but she hits a different button instead. Suddenly, Keisha and Miss Frizzle are all alone on the bus. The button turned the bus and Keisha's friends into trees. Well, you did want to stop them from going home, says Miss Frizzle. But I didn't want them to become trees, cries Keisha. Look, a storm is coming. The wind will blow down the trees just like it blew down our house, shouts Keisha. We have to help our friends. They'll be okay, says Miss Frizzle. And now we can see wind in action. The wind blows and blows, but the trees do not fall over. But how are trees stronger than a brick house? asks Keisha. Let's find out, says Miss Frizzle. Keisha puts on her special glasses. I can see the wind sliding around the trunk, says Keisha. Hey, that tickles, laughs Arnold. Here he is. We have roots underground. We're holding us in place, says D.A., and we are swaying in the wind instead of falling over, says Arnold. Wow, the wind can't blow us down, says D.A. After the storm, the kids turn back to normal. They have ideas about how to make their house as strong as a tree. It should have a foundation like the roots. So the foundation is that part on the bottom that makes the building stay. And round curves like a tree trunk, says DA. Let's make the mortar flexible. That means it can bend. So the house sways in the wind, says Jyoti. The magic school bus takes the kids back to school and digs a hole for the house's foundation. Then the kids get to work. Soon the house is built. Now it's showtime. Ralphie is dressed like a wolf. He pretends to blow down the house just as Miss Frizzle turns on the bus's fan. Will the house blow down? What do you think? The last two houses blew down. Hmm. Make a prediction. The wind slides around the round slides. The foundation acts like roots. The new mortar makes the house sway. The house does not blow down. Later, the kids read a review of their play. It says, don't see the play. It's too scary and too windy. Who's going to come and see the play now? Asks Arnold. Everyone, shouts Keisha. The review made it sound so exciting that the play is sold out. We did it together. Wahoo, shouts the class. And here is that glossary. It says, hi, I'm Miss Frizzle's sister, Professor Frizzle. I used to teach at Walkerville Elementary. Now I do scientific research with my sidekick, Goldie. That's that little monkey. I'm always on adventure learning new things. So here are some words for you to learn too. Woohoo! Engineer, a person who designs or builds things. Remember when they said engineers had to test buildings to make sure they were safe? They design and build those things. Flexible, capable of bending. Foundation, a stone or concrete structure that supports a building from underneath. Mortar, a thick paste used to hold brick or stone together. Remember when I, we looked at that, it looked kind of like concrete. Review, a report that gives an opinion about a play, book, or movie. They said the review made it sound so exciting in the book. Set, 
the furniture, scenery, and backdrop of a play. That's what they were building when they were building that red brick thing. That was the scenery of the play. Swaying, moving slowly back and forth. Can you sway? Look at all these words you've learned. Great job, readers. I hope you enjoyed our reading book today.